So I think that, you know, when we're thinking about age gap dating, um, in, because women have a really short fertility window, you know, it's like most women, um, are start becoming less fertile when in their early thirties. And of course, we know that fertility decreases fairly dramatically after 35. Um, and so I think that for a lot of, you know, couples who are seeking to have children, um, the um, male age gap in some ways, like, you know, sort of like makes more sense just in terms of, um, you know, if you are an older man with a much younger partner and you want to have children, that's going to be easier than in a case where you have an older woman with a younger man. Um, and so I think that a lot of times, you know, these uh, relationships are formed um, after women have had children. Um, because uh, th there is, you do sort of run up against that, that block. Um, and, you know, certainly uh, the men who get involved in these relationships are generally, you know, that's a cost that you have to be aware of, right? If you're going to be involved in a relationship with somebody who's 10 or more years older than you, um, and you want to have children, then obviously, you know, if you're 30 and your partner's 40, um, that's going to be associated with a, a lower probability of conception than if you dated somebody your same age. And so that's definitely something that um, comes into play um, in these types of uh, in these types of relationships. Um, but generally, what we tend to find is that you know a lot of uh, female-led age gap relationships, where we have the, oh, an older female partner and a younger male partner, it's with women who are are done having children or don't want to have children. Um, and so these are women in their forties and fifties um, who are sort of done with that part of their life, and now they're looking for something different. You know, I, I think that when you have a younger woman um, who has not had children yet, um, a lot of times there's a real priority being placed on a partner's potential provisioning ability. Like, is this somebody who's going to be a good dad? Do they have our financial stability? Um, and once you sort of move past that, and if you've already had your children and maybe your children are even grown or you've decided that you don't want to have children, it shifts what women are prioritizing in terms of their relationships, making them less concerned with things like financial security and stability and going after some other things like um, somebody's, you know, spontaneity and um, joie de vivre and, and, you know, and also sexual satisfaction. You know, when we look at the uh, the sort of primary benefits that um, women report reaping from age gap relationships, um, they really like the sort of free spirited, carefree nature of their male partners. And they also like that they're getting sexual gratification. Um, and that's something that, of course, we know is uh, something that we tend to encourage for men, like it's okay for men to seek relationships um, where they're seeking sexual gratification. But when women do the exact same thing, we see this as being something that's tawdry, right? Something that's like worth conversation. Whereas, you know, we don't tend to talk about those things that way when we're talking about men.